Hello, Internet! I'm Color Flarty, and welcome back to Pup Pot and Pep's Dog on a Stick. So, today we are on World 5. We've made some really good progress, considering we've only done two videos thus far. So, unfortunately, this is probably the most boring world in the game, and my personal least favorite. Look out for the rascally critter! It's the Bongo Jungle. Well, for starters, we do get hot chocolate, which is cool. And the bears are park rangers, apparently, but... And yes, true, jumping on these timpani drums to make cool sounds, but... The background music is almost not even existent. I kind of have a problem with that. But anyways... So this does admittedly introduce a very cool new gimmick. You probably have to push that button. Those buttons down there. So as you can see, there's no exit on this level. But the buttons are the key. We jump on the button, more stuff appears. However, if, if something, it could be me or it could be any of the rascally critters jumps on that button again, the platforms disappear, so that is important to note. Hey, licking cats! Goodbye. Alright, we push this button, and voila! The exit appears! So the buttons are gonna get a bit more complicated than that before long, but it's still a pretty cool gimmick. Well, we've already seen what that button does, Putt-Putt. Not that one particularly, but... THE buttons in general. So the main problem with the buttons is the fact that the rascally critters can jump on them and screw you up. So you do need to keep an eye on that. Particularly in the later levels. Oh yeah! Pep's on a rampage. Huh. I see, so that's how they want to play. So if we want to get that steak... If we want to get that steak, we literally have to give up our life to do that. I'm not really eager to do that, so instead I will go up here, jump around for a bit. Yeah, we could get the steak, but at the cost of our own life. We're not really going to do that. Hmm, where's the exit? Also, can we just take a moment to appreciate that Pup-Hut is a helicopter now? It's pretty cool. Oh, okay, I forgot how cool the drum sound effects are. But if you, if you, if you listen, the background music is pretty bad. It hardly even exists. Oh no. No! Yeah, that's what's annoying about the rascally critters. <laughs> no, come on! That's a pr yeah. In Dog on a Stick, even if you leave the platform until you've landed on the next one you were jumping to, the animal will get you. Oh well. We still have double digit lives, so I'm not worried at all. Look out for the rascally critters! This introduces a new enemy. These are living blobs. The living blobs are pretty much exactly like the other rascally critters, except it's very hard to tell which direction they're jumping if you can't see their eyes. They're also by far the weirdest enemies you see in the game. They weren't going to be. One of the cut enemies from the game was literally living brains. 
There are literally assets in the game of brain enemies just jumping around. Oh, sweet! I was wondering where that was going to be. So unless I'm mistaken, I think every thousand points in this game gives you an extra life, and also the little dog heads I've been picking up, those are also extra lives. I'd never mention it, so I'm sorry about that. Hurry up and go catch all those presents! In the city of Tokyo, presents jump everywhere! There we go. Oh, and the presents don't get stuck on the goop. That's unfortunate. Get back here, presents. Thank you! Many thanks! Woohoo! I wonder what that glowing thing oh, I does. forgot this introduces another gimmick. So those yellow portals are teleporters. You jump in one and it'll pop you out in a random place. And by that I mean a random other yellow portal. Also, the bears cannot go through the teleporters. Only specific enemies can go through the teleporters. So yeah, we go through there. Now if we go back through the teleporter, it'll take us there. Okay, cool. I was worried that bear was going to jump on the teleporter as I was trying to go through. That thankfully did not happen. Oh, they programmed each drum to have a unique sound effect depending on what it looks like. This looks tricky. That is a frog on a stick. The frog on a sticks are some of the more annoying enemies in the game. They are not affected by oil or green goop, and if they so choose, they can actually choose to jump two squares as opposed to one anytime they want. In my personal experience, they don't jump two squares unless you're two, exactly two squares away and they can catch you that way. But I wouldn't put it past them to pull a dirty trick. So you do need to be very watchful of the frogs. Oh, yep, see? Right there. Get out of here, frog. Yeah, we'll be seeing a lot more of them later on in the game. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> By golly, we will. And in my bonus levels. Alright, three more levels in the Bongo Jungle, then we get to a cooler world. Look, a fry! This is a very interesting level. Yeah, so we got the timpani drums that make that subtle sound effect, and then the hardcore bongos which go like boop boop boop! I think the way you enter the teleporter might also play a role in which where you get taken. So for example, if we jump and do it from there, sure enough. Also, it's weird, the teleporters behave differently in single player than they do in the custom levels. Oh boy! That was a tricky level, but kind of fun. Good luck, Pep. Okay, I did forget how cool this world is. I'm just not a, really not a fan of the music. Oh, beach balls! What are beach balls doing in this jungle? And we got yellow seashells everywhere. Fun. Oh no! And that's what happens if you get hit by a blob. Pep, you be careful out there! Yeah, no kidding, there's no telling what those blobs are made of. Or what gives them their those purple per polka dot colors. Alright. 
Thank you, Beach Bob, for being so kind. Sweet. One level left in the bongos. Yeah, no duh, Pup Pot. We've been through this before. I guess you kind of make your own music on this level, or on these levels. Oh, I forgot the blobs are not affected by the gelatinous goo, darn it! That's kind of an evil placement. Oh no 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 no! Why did I do that? I easily could have been gooified there. No 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 no! The blobs are very annoying. It's hard to tell where they're going. Also, they seem to have no rhyme or reason to the way they jump. Okay, good. I was hoping the bonus level would be on one of the bone squares and not on one of the goo squares. Oh! This is the bonus level! Catch as many presents as you well, can! Well, this will be an actually very interesting bonus level. Jump on top of me, please. You two can play up that game. Thank you. This, I think, might be the first bonus game I will fail. Jump up, you stupid present! Darn it. That was more than... the amount of time. Welcome to the Crate Factory slash Storage Room. This introduces the target platforms. Target platforms will constantly be moving. Take advantage of them if you can. This is where the game gets really interesting. Because you've got buttons, teleporters, and moving platforms. Also, this is a skunk. Skunks behave kind of like the bears and the cats. The difference being they can enter teleporters. And they can also drop clouds of... Yep, clouds of stink like that. And if you get on the cloud of stink, you will be stuck and cannot jump until it disappears. So yeah, skunks are kind of nasty. So now we gotta wait for the moving platform to be in just the right place. And goal! I love the crate factory. That is a jetpack pig. Jetpack pigs can literally jump anywhere, even open air, because their jetpack helps them out like that. Alright, looks like we're gonna have to be a little patient on this level. Jetpack pigs are really cool enemies, but also really annoying at the same time. Ice cream platforms! Nope. Just the key for this level, don't get greedy, eh? <coughs> Stupid jetpack pig. The 
fact that they can jump anywhere and you cannot really makes them irritating. Especially in closed quarters like this. Where it's like, I can't really jump anywhere. If that pig wants to hit me, he's going to hit me. Alright, let's see if I can do a maneuver. Nope. Yeah. I should have known better than to try that. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to have enough time for that. If I had hot chocolate, I could have made it. Nope. This level, yeah, this is where the levels actually start getting challenging. One enemy, but that one enemy is such a doozy. The pigs can also be a huge pain to jump through. No bonus points on that level at all, that's sad. Uh -oh, I, think I, smell a skunk. I also smell hamburgers though, so we are gonna brave the skunks. Oh! Um, okay. <laughs> the target platforms do tend to make enemies jump off cliffs a lot more than usual. No enemies to worry about. Cool. We can just spend all our time focusing on jumping on the platforms. They designed those platforms is pretty cool for them to look like targets. Nice touch! Ah. The music here is amazing too. Oh, you know I will have good luck. If there are no jetpack pigs, I think I'll have good luck. Jetpack pigs are not the worst enemies in the game, but they are very annoying just due to their ability to hover in midair. Huh. <sighs> Stupid skunk. Well, that's mean. Stop putting the skunk platforms. Yeah. They always make those stink clouds right in the middle, so I have to jump through them. Come to me, target. Not you, skunk. How did he make it on here? Bonus? Oh, I can't believe that worked. Where's the bonus platform? Isn't this level 65? Or not 65, 55? Maybe not. Okay, my bad. Okay, this is level 55. Ice cream. I'm more interested in that hot chocolate, personally. Man, we're just getting the gimmicks thrown at us all the time. The next few worlds don't have a lot of gimmicks. Oh 
bother. Should have gone to that side first. Nope. Nope. Man, that skunk is just stinking up a storm. Woohoo! Get those guys for extra points. Okay, green stuff not quite as bad as oil. At least I can control where I go now. You can run, but you can't hide. Get back here. Nope, get back here. Those little purple presents are the worst. They know exactly where to go. Yeah, I technically ran out of time before I got that last one. Yes, it does! Buttons, moving platforms, and pigs. Oh dear. Oh de 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 dear. It doesn't help that the pigs have these incredible grins on their faces. Extra life! You'll hear Pep bark every time you get an extra life. Oh, that's kind of cool. There we go. Crate Factory is quite fun. Yes, Pup Pot, I understand how the moving platforms work perfectly well now. Oh, no, no, no! Oh, shoot, I thought that was coming backwards. That's my bad. Oh, I see a super pep that I can deal piggy revenge on. I'm gonna break those pigs like I'm an angry bird. Oh, this is really bad. If that pig wants to be a jerk, I can't do anything about it. And of course, the pig wanted to be a jerk. How do these pigs afford jetpacks anyways? Huh, I feel like the platforms are not very well put together on this level. There's so much waiting. And those pigs almost got me anyways. He's back, back again. Super Pep is back again. Here, piggy, piggy, piggy. Oh, you know what? Forget it. I'd rather have bonus points. Alright. Levels are being slower now, but we can still get 20 done per episode. Not a problem, they're always one screeners. Watch where you step on here.
clever use of moving platforms there. I couldn't tell if it was going down there or up. So I decided to keep, stay alive, regardless. Notice how the skunks are affected by the oil slicks. Ah, once again, things I do for ice cream. I wonder. <laughs> Little fast forward button in Scum VM. That works. I have to remember that for when I'm waiting for these platforms. Because I feel like I spend a large portion of my time just waiting on these fins. Give me bonus points or give me death! That was Patrick Henry, by the way. You probably have to push that button! No, really, pop pot Okay, that skunk just immediately jumped off a cliff. You have so much more to live for, skunk. Whoop! Extra life, yes, please. This is actually a pretty cool level. It's symmetrical. And the platforms move in, like, a predictable pattern. I mean, all the platforms do, but... They move in a cool pattern. Okay, it's not symmetric anymore. Control F is fast forward. Yahoo! Bing bong 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 Last level of the day, everybody! Unless you... Wow, you're doing a swell job, Pep! Well, thank you. This looks like a fun level. One, two, three. Not getting stranded. Move it, stupid pig. Uh oh. That's not good. That's not good. Oh well. That was my own fault. Catch as many as you can. Pep. These bonus levels are becoming a lot more difficult. I'd like to see some of my custom levels have bonus presence on them. Come on, not the stupid purple present again. It's always the purple present. There we go. Yes! Alright, that's gonna do it for this episode of Pop on and Pep's Dog on a Stick. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. I hope to see you for the next episode. We'll be going to a brand new world, and it's quite a beautiful one. Have a great day, and God bless.